So Forbes came out with a list of 10 different countries around the world. On that list of countries on the Forbes list, it's like the clearance rack of destinations because they're cheap, but you can still have a good standard of living, including Mexico, Cambodia, Vietnam, and many of the other countries that we'll talk about today. So if you're tired of living that lifestyle in your developed country and want to go to better places, then I would highly recommend that you join me in this great journey of discovering where else to live. So I would cheers to you and you can pull up a margarita, have a drink, kick back, and learn about how these five countries will change your life. So where are the best places to live in the world? There's the Global Retirement Index, which is put out by Forbes that specifies the 10 different countries that are great to live, but also very affordable or cheap based on different standards around the world. So from this Forbes list of 10 best destinations, we're going to break down the five countries that we feel will give you the best cost of living. Also review how you can become a permanent resident or citizen of that particular country. So whether you want to live, work or retire abroad or get that second citizenship, but also looking at a budget destination that requires less investment. This video is for you, so that's what we're gonna talk about today, so let's get started. So hello, my name is Ken Yung with over 13 years of experience on international and business transactions, including immigration, to help people travel and get citizenships all over the world, including Vietnam, United States, Portugal, Grenada, and many other countries around the world. But before we get into that, we just got back from New Year's, especially in Vietnam. So on behalf of Yung Globe, I wanna wish you a happy, prosperous New Year and make sure that all your wishes come true. And of course, before we get into the video, make sure that you continue to follow up by subscribing to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications, and also commenting on information that you want regarding living, working, investing all over the world. So number five on the list, on the Forbes list, is Costa Rica. Costa Rica has a very great cost of living. It's roughly between 2,500 to 3,000 US dollars a month, which includes your rent, groceries, entertainment, internet, and other basic needs that you would have to live there. Also, the medical care is very good in Costa Rica as well. So you have access to international hospitals, uh, as well as clinics for your basic checkups, and then also for your more advanced healthcare needs. Also politically Costa Rica is one of the safest countries in the world in fact they actually call it the Switzerland of Central America because how safe it is and how politically stable the country is also if you are a US national and want to go to Costa Rica you actually don't even need to apply for a visa you just need the entry and an exit within 90 days visa free Although Costa Rica does not offer a citizenship program, it does offer permanent residency if you meet one of the three following requirements. One is you're a pensioner who's retired and you have income of about $1,000 a month. Or two, if you're a business person and you bring in $2,500 of income per month based on all of the various businesses that you're investing into Costa Rica or outside. And finally, if you invested $200,000 or more in Costa Rican property or real real estate. But one requirement for staying on this permanent residency is you pay between 9 to 10 percent of the income that you get into the Social Security Fund for Costa Rica, which also brings back many benefits for you when you live there. So that's a similar system to Vietnam and many other countries around the world. So those are the three ways that you can get your permanent residency for five year terms and be able to stay long term in Costa Rica. Enjoy all the great benefits of this amazing and beautiful country. The fourth country on the list is a country that we talked about before where Vietnam passport holders can go and it's one of the best destinations. So you can click on your right hand corner to see and watch that video. Which is that country? Ecuador. So Ecuador is still a largely undiscovered country, but it has all the amenities of modern living, such as high speed fiber optic internet, US currency denomination, temperate weather, cost of living is relatively inexpensive, affordable healthcare, 
there and also the other entertainment that you would be accustomed to in many developed countries. The cost generally of living in Ecuador would range between 1,500 to 1,800 US dollars per month. Also, if you don't need to live in the big cities, you can live in the Andes and buy an entire house for 150,000 US dollars. But in general, Ecuador, you can live and find a place to rent that's a two bedroom, one or two bath for roughly 500 US dollars per month. You also have access to excellent healthcare as well. For example, in Ecuador, you can go and have a doctor's visit for about $20 and you can also have a checkup for about 20 to 25 US dollars. The temporary residence visa lasts for two years and you are permitted to leave Ecuador 90 days per year. After a three year period on the temporary residence, you are, can go on your path for permanent residence. To get permanent residence, there are many paths to get there, such as through working, through family, or through retirement and investment programs. The most affordable path to permanent residency is through the fixed income program. So either you have your active income or your passive income. In order to get this permanent residency, you have to show your income is three times the minimum wage of Ecuador. So that number right now is 1,250 US dollars per month in order to apply for that program. The second program, if you want to go straight to citizenship, is you can go through the investment into real estate program of a minimum of 42,500 US dollars and you have to have been on the permanent residency program for at least four years and that will give you a direct path to citizenship of Ecuador. The third country on the Forbes list is Panama. Other than a place for many Westerners to retire, Panama is known for its residency program and tax optimization solutions where people can invest, open a company, and open a bank account with relative ease. Then apply for citizenship after five years of permanent residency. Healthcare in Panama is first rate, particularly in the cities. And you can live at the beach and be just an hour from a real metropolis. The weather is warm year round, and Panama uses the US dollar. So Panama is also known for the Panama Canal or the Panama Papers. In Panama, a budget of about 2,900 US dollars per month for a couple would be sufficient. For a single person, you can look at about 1,400 to 2,000 dollars per month in order to live a comfortable lifestyle in Panama. Although the budget is pretty cheap in Panama, but if you plan to live long term, then we would highly recommend you look at the permanent residency and citizenship programs. One of the easiest countries for Westerners is Panama's friendly nation's visa program. With just a deposit of 200,000 USD in the bank, set up another economic tie in the country and get permanent residency. After five years of residency under the program, you can apply for citizenship and enjoy Panama's low tax rates. And of course, as we wind down the list, we are getting closer to the cheapest country in 2023. So the country that is number two on the list of the cheapest and best places to live for 2023 is the home of the tacos. So if you've seen Taco Bell or the Chihuahua, that is very famous. And which country is home to the taco? It is Mexico. For a couple living in Mexico, you can look at around $2,000 per month. However, as a single person, the cost will be very similar because you don't get to duplicate or share in cost. So you're looking at between $1,400 and $1,900 USD per month. Nevertheless, that's a very reasonable price on a monthly basis to live a comfortable lifestyle. But if you are looking to live in Mexico long term there's definitely the permanent residency card that you can get and if you live there the great thing about this card is you don't have to renew every single year in fact it does not expire at all so you can live long term on this permanent resident card in Mexico a lot of Americans and others have been going during the last couple of years there is a relatively straightforward residence per permit to get to qualify for a permanent residency you must prove that you have enough investments savings or a decent pension to sustain yourself and your family in Mexico. The amount may change from country to country, but it is around 4,300 to 4,500 as monthly income, plus 25% 
per dependent. So before I get to our number one country on the Forbes list, I want to have an honorable mention, which is a country that we're shooting from, and that is Vietnam. We've done a video on Vietnam that can cost roughly about $1,000 a month that you can live quite comfortably, definitely in the countryside and possibly in one of the smaller or bigger cities as well. So if you want to watch and learn about that country, you can click on the right hand corner and watch the video of why Vietnam is one of uh, the best places to live, retire, and and work in 2023. As for residency and citizenship programs for Vietnam, we've talked about the investor visa program. You can click on the videos and description for those videos. And also if you want Vietnamese citizenship, we've done over 15 videos related to the topic. So make sure you watch that video to see why Vietnam is a great place to live, work and retire. And now for the number one country on the Forbes list of the best and cheapest countries to live in for 2023. This country has a lot of various different benefits that other countries do not have. And we've recommended to tons of our clients to live and invest in this particular country. And that is Portugal. So despite its compact size and it's roughly about 10 million residents, Portugal offers very bustling cities such as Lisbon or Porto, but it also offers cities that are along the coast in the Atlantic Ocean that have great views, great seafood, and good beach lifestyle. So why is Portugal ranked number one in the world? We're going to let you know right now. First, the people are extremely kind and hospitable. We work with a lot of Portuguese uh, clients, contacts, and of course, our CMO is also a Portuguese descent as well. Portugal, based on the Global Peace Index, is number six in the world regarding safety. Finally, Portugal has excellent health care. In fact, they're ranked number 12 by the World Health Organization, both for public and private options. The country has great infrastructure, also drinkable tap water, and extremely reliable electricity. Moreover, Portugal has some of the best infrastructure, highways, roads, and also seaports to allow you to travel around Europe and it's probably one of the finest infrastructure systems in Europe as well. And it's very easy to get a driver's license so that you can legally drive and use the road. 5% of the Portuguese population of around 10 million are expats. Thus, English language is highly spoken in Portugal. Over 90% of Portuguese speak English. So if you are a couple living in Portugal, you can get away with roughly about $2,000 to $2,500 and be able to live comfortably in in Portugal in general. However, if you live in some of the bigger cities such as Lisbon, Porto, or Argive, then it will be a little bit more expensive. But if you live in the smaller rural areas, then it can be a little bit less. As a single person, you're looking at about $1,700 per month, more or less, in order to live in the big cities and a little bit less if you're living in the rural areas. To get citizenship in Portugal, you can look at the real estate option or real estate fund option. The minimum investment is 280,000 euros to buy real estate and also lead you within five years from a permanent resident to a citizen of Portugal. One great benefit of the Portugal Golden Visa program is you don't have to permanently stay there for five years. You have to stay a very short period of time in order to meet your residency requirements. These programs we've talked a lot about. Uh, we have many videos as well, especially the breaking news regarding the US E2 treaty investment visa with Portugal. So make sure you click on the right hand corner to watch all those videos, including our Portugal Golden Visa playlist. But as always, at Young Global, our team of immigration and legal experts are here to help you decide whether Portugal is the best program for you and whether it's the best country to live in. Of course, we'll be also organizing tours so that you can go to Europe, especially to Portugal to visit to see if that lifestyle fits your needs. Living in the cheapest places does not mean that you have to lower your standard or your lifestyle. For those looking for better options of different places to live, investment opportunities, and also getting second citizenships, we've made this and many other videos so that you can compare which one is best. And of course, in order to get updated on all the information that we provide to you, make sure that you like our Facebook page, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell for notifications on how we can provide you information about immigration, investing, living, and working all over the world. So on behalf of Yoon Global, my name is Ken Yoon. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next one.